Hi, in this video I'm looking at expanding and simplifying these bracketed terms that involve certs. So this is an example of using the distributive law with certs. So if I have a look at my first one, which is the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 6 plus 11. So the distributive law says that we multiply the term out the front onto each term inside the brackets individually. So my first one is going to be root 5 times root 6. So I'm going to have root 5 times root 6. And then my second one is going to be root 5 times 11. So positive, so root 5 times 11, or 11 root 5. I can then perform the multiplication here by multiplying the numbers underneath the square roots. Root 5 times root 6 is root 30, and then plus 11 root 5. I look at the root 30, I can't simplify it. I look at the 11 root 5, I can't simplify it. Square root of 5 times the square root of 6 plus 11 is root 30 plus 11 root 5. Having a look at part b, we have the square root of 7, multiply the square root of 18 minus 3. So in this case, multiply the root 7 onto the root 18. I would have root 7 times root 18. And then I have root 7 times negative 3. So now I've got a negative, because I've got a positive times a negative is a negative. So I've got negative 3 root 7. Do this multiplication in the middle here. So I have root 7 times root 18 gives me the square root of 126 and minus 3 root 7. So looking at these, can I simplify them? I can't simplify the root 7, but I can simplify root 26. Root 26 can be simplified by taking the factors of 9 and 14 minus 3 root 7. So I have root 9, root 14 minus root 7. I can then square root the 9, so I have 3 root 14 minus 3 root 7. Now I am as simple as I possibly can be, so I have my answer that the root 7 times root 18 minus 3 is 3 root 14 take 3 root 7. And lastly, part C, I have minus 2 root 3 multiplied by root 10 minus 5 root 3. So again, multiplying in minus 2 times minus 3, 2 root 3 times root 10 gives us minus 2 root 3 root 10. And then minus 2 root 3 times negative 5 root 3, negative times a negative gives me a positive. 2 times 5 is 10 root 3 times root 3. So having a look at doing the multiplications, I have negative 2 root 30 plus 10 root 3 times root 3. Well, that's root 3 squared, which is just root, uh, which is just 3. Can I simplify this? I cannot simplify the negative 2 root 30, so it's going to say is negative 2 root 30 before my last multiplication plus 30. So I have as my answer that the negative 2 root 3 times root 10 minus 5 root 3 is 30 take 2 root 30. We like to keep positive numbers at the front if possible, so all I've done is swap these two terms, which I can do. So there we have it, a few examples of using the distributive law to expand brackets with thirds.